Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello. So, I am going to talk today uh, speaking in groups. So, in my previous lectures, I have talked, I have talked a lot related to leadership, motivation, communication style, etc., etc. Today, I am going to focus how group works and what is the behavior people involved in a group and how the communication goes on in a group, what are, what are the possible problems in a group and how to make a group very effective through our communication process. So, speaking or communicating in group is also an art one has to understand and develop, so that our communication behavior in group become very, very effective. <coughs> so, first we have to understand what group is. A group may be regarded as an organized structure uh, composed of individuals having a common purpose interdependence and division of labor. Group members are aware of one another and communicate about the common goal. So, group means <coughs> they have a goal in their group to achieve and how they are, how the groups are formed and how they are behaving with each other and communicating with each other what kind of relationships they are having with each other to achieve that goal. Now, group communication is all about everyday talk and relationships, especially the relationships between people. Relationship matter a lot in the functioning of the group. So, group can be very functional, very active, very normal if they are having a very good communication behavior and relationship amongst amongst themselves. Now, whenever conflicts happen in the group, it should be seen not simply as a battle of ideas, but as a battle people who have ideas. It is not a battle of ideas, but the people who are involved in the group and who are working and trying to understand each other's point of view. You know, conflicts are quite natural. Many times it happens that people uh, take conflicts in a very negative way, but there are some scholars, they are of the opinion that conflicts are all are not always something negative. It can also be uh, considered in a very positive way, because through conflict sometimes we are getting some good ideas, better ideas and uh, some ideas which can be really very helpful to go ahead. So, this is also very, very important. Conflict is a very natural process. A group can promote its own decision making capacities by setting a definite agenda, doing a thorough problem analysis assessing its goals and thoroughly assessing alternative possibilities. Promotive communication and counteractive communication are ways to keep groups on task. So, one thing is very, very important that you speaking in a group for to achieve certain objective or for a common purpose or to, to achieve the goal. The most important thing is that the group members should be like minded people number one. Number two, they should have proper 
communication amongst themselves and they should have a good relationship. If these things are there, then some even sometimes they are having differences of opinion or some sorts of conflict, they will overcome, they will give concession, they will give proper understanding to each other, so that they are ultimately trying to find out some sort of solution and they are going ahead to achieve the goal. So, speaking in a group, most of us find it relatively easy to interact with one or two other people. Now, when we talk about group, there are lots of studies which will tell us that group means what, how many persons should be in a group, how it is different from the team. A smaller group uh, is supposed to be uh, slightly better than a very large group. So, it is it is easier also to control. So, especially we know them if it, if it is a small group and if we know them means the members of the group well and uh, if we are on good terms with them it becomes easier to work with. But somehow when the numbers go up it can all get to be a difficult story. So, different story. If the group is very large then it becomes very uh, difficult to handle. Uh, because if the people are not of the same uh, type of person like like minded people having different way of looking at the things. So, that group might not be very effective. Once it goes over our personal threshold the tension starts to creep in we might get sweetie palms or feel our heart racing our throat might feel tight we might find it difficult to concentrate. So, if we are in a group and the people are not able to uh, understand and having some sort of uh, relationship and uh, uh, tolerance for others, then uh, it becomes very difficult and people will feel very insecure and will not get that kind of enthusiasm, that kind of zeal to go ahead and to work in a group. So, group formation of course, is very, very important in my other lectures I will talk I, I shall be talking about group dynamics then I will discuss in detail related to these issues, but something which are very important is speaking in a group is that if the people are uh, having understanding for each other having good relationship and good communication is going on only then uh, group will work and uh, through communication also we can make the group effective. Now, different groups have different kinds of communication. For example, some very formal and some quite casual. It depends what kind of groups uh, are there. I shall be discussing some kind of group, but sometimes our communication is formal, sometimes our communication is informal and uh, depending on the types of group we are using that particular type. Group decision making largely depends on quality of information and message transmission. What kind of information, what the quality of uh, information, all these are very, very important information of a group and also in decision making. Effective group members offer advice, knowledge, information, help and support. So, if the group is effective, they will always share their ideas, thoughts. Uh, even there might be some difference does not matter, they will always come out of the discussion through conflicts, through, through differences to some to a some very positive, to some very constructive ideas they will come up. And all these will be possible only if they are able to communicate properly in their group. There are different kinds of group and different communication strategies are carried out to form different types of group for different purposes. For example, as it is mentioned formal group, advisory group, creative group, support group, networking group, etcetera, etcetera. So, different kinds of group for different purposes are formed. But many communication experts focus exclusively on deliberate and purposive uh, sorry uh, purposive persuasion especially in groups that make formal decision there should be a purpose. Why the groups are formed? 
there should be group feeling na? and <coughs> groups are formed to achieve something, to do something in a group, to perform certain tasks so and to make some decisions. So, if there is a cohesiveness, there is a good understanding amongst themselves, definitely they will come to some very good decision. Discussion of group decision making usually involves looking at the most effective forms of communication that help groups reach decisions, often because groups have a set task, purpose or objective. Now, group decision making happens between people in larger term relationship. Essentially, communication between people transacts group membership and some obvious relationship issue arise that get affected by communication. Of course, this is a very big challenge to form group and to make the group effective through speaking. But at least in the beginning, if people are having some sort of good uh, communication and proper understanding, then the things become quite easier. Otherwise, what happens that if people are suffering from ego problem, if people are thinking that they are superior to others, if people are thinking they are inferior to others, if these kind of feelings are there, then group might not be very effective. So, through our talk, through our uh, speaking, through our communication, through our sharing of ideas, through our self disclosure, we can motivate each other to achieve the common goal of the group. Speaking in a group is also an art. Always one should uh, show that uh, everybody in the group is important, they all matter and they all are contributing something. It should not be that some people are given more important importance and some people are neglected, then group might not function. So, the one who is a group leader or the one who has got some control, he or she should be in a position to give importance to all the members of group and that is possible only through proper communication, effective communication, giving proper understanding and developing good relationship. All these things are important through speaking. Now, there is a, uh, a scholar who is called Fisher and this Fisher's model uh, is very, very relevant in this context, Fisher model of group progression, how the group progresses. There are some stages. The first one is orientation. The group members get to know each other and come to grips with the problems they have convened to deal with. So, there should this is the first stage orientation. There should be orient, there should be a need and understanding that what exactly the group members are going to do, for what purpose they have been they have come together. So, that orientation in the beginning should be there and once they start with that orientation. So, of course, uh, this is quite natural that some conflicts will also come because group argues about the possible ways of approaching the problem and begins to find some sort of solution. So, if they are having their ideas, then others might agree, others might not agree, differences will be there and that way some conflicts are quite natural. As I mentioned earlier, conflicts should not be uh, seen always something very negative, it can also be treated or seen something positive, because through conflicts, through our differences, we might come up with some very good ideas. Then after that, next stage is emergence. The in Fisher model, this is the uh, third uh, stage developed from the previous stage. Emergence occurs when some daylight of consensus begins to dawn and the group starts to move towards agreement. Means after discussion, even might be some conflict, uh, some ideas might emerge that yes, we have to discuss on this particular aspect and go ahead. And then finally, reinforcement, the group recognizes that it is reaching consensus and explicitly consolidates that consensus to complete the task. So, these are the process to go ahead of the group and on all these process, the most important thing is that communication. 
Now, Fisher supposed that the type of communication going on in a group would serve to identify as well as promote the particular stage. And thus, the model has the advantage of helping researchers watch a decision making group to see where it is headed or to identify issues that might prevent it from moving successfully towards the final conclusive stage. So, these are the process and through this process a group can go ahead and work, but always in the center is that uh, speaking properly, communication, communicating effectively, this is very, very important. We all talk, we all communicate, we all interact, but the most important thing is that effectively how to bring people together, how to get the work done, how to give a sense of belongingness to the group, how to make them comfortable, how make them feel emotionally. So, all such things will be possible only if a person have a very good communication skill. Now, <coughs> uh, so far as the uh, uh, group and uh, these things are concerned, speaking is concerned, uh, one can use different types of styles which I have already spoken earlier that in a group the important thing is that uh, important thing is that uh, uh, that people should understand each other's uh, liking, disliking and particularly their way of thinking and the style the way communicate with each other. Because some people uh, are very submissive, some people are introvert, speak very less, some people are very talkative. So, we have to understand and uh, we should always make them feel that yes, if uh, uh, we all are equally important and they can contribute a lot in the group and uh, if some sort of motivation is given and some sort of personal feeling and touch is expressed, then these people will always feel part of the group. That is also possible, but sometimes difficulties, problems will come. After all, we all are human being and sometimes it happens that in a group one or two members uh, do not agree or having different uh, way of looking at the things, but uh, being a good listener and communicator. Uh, through our speaking process, uh, this is also possible to uh, make them convinced and bring them together in spite of all the differences. You know differences good, uh, differences are good through our differences and through very constructive discussion. We can develop some sort of strategies, we can develop some sort of uh, uh, some sort of things which might be able to help us in achieving our goal. So, I would like to suggest that formation of group, uh, different kinds of group, all these topics I will of course discuss uh, in my uh, other lectures, but here is speaking in group is also an art. Basically, uh, is speaking anywhere that way, whether you are speaking in public or speaking in a meeting or speaking in front of uh, uh, other team members, always uh, there are certain basic things will which always helps a lot. Uh, one has to understand the audience before you are going to speak something, uh, maybe the gender, maybe the age of the person. So, all such things are uh, of course, very, very important to make the communication very effective. So, is the uh, group. In a group, when we form the group, two things, two, three things are very, very important. One is that when we put people together, just we have to see that more or less they are like minded person, they have been put together to achieve some sort of uh, some achieve some goal, some task uh, is there to be performed and then through discussion, through different process, uh, they are trying to do that job. And most important is that the group members 
or communicating with each other, sharing with each other, self disclosure taking place, these things are very, very important and all these things are part of communication strategies. So, speaking in group means it is not that always, many times we have this experience when we are going to select students for certain type of courses like uh, MBA or MHRM courses where we conduct group discussion and in that group discussion what happens that some people or some of the candidates feel that if somebody is uh, very aggressively speaking and always is speaking first he or she will be treated the good one. It is not like that rather than it is preferred that of course, one should speak up to the point taking into consideration other members of the group giving due weightage to others having patience to listen to others point of view and trying to give their opinion concluding others remarks others opinion. So, these, these are the qualities of a person who tries to become a, a leader in the group or having uh, is considered to be better than others. So, these are the qualities and these are the communication skills. Only speaking very loudly and uh, very aggressive manner does not mean that one can convince others if a person is speaking very loudly and in a very aggressive way because some people think that if I am speaking something in a very assertive and aggressive way then pe <coughs> people will get convinced. It is not like that. Uh, one should also have patience to listen to others and then trying to put his or her point of view, uh, considering others point of view, giving due respect and weightage to others point of view. So, speaking in a group is also an art and one has to develop through practice, through experiences. So, whenever we are having a small meetings or we are having a small group and trying to uh, suppose uh, if you are in a position to form a group and uh, you want to get some work done through group, then also it becomes very important that how we are forming and uh, how the members of the group as well as the leader of the group are behaving with each other, trying to understand e each other, what kind of information they are sharing with each other and whether they are having confidence in each other. So, these all are very, very important to become a very successful uh, in the uh, group and getting the work done. So, I would like to emphasize these points by concluding these things and then emphasize that it can be said that speaking in a group is an art which consists of one style of communication having concern and understanding for other members of the group. So, speaking in a group is an art as it is mentioned and it is very, very important the style of communication. I have already in fact spoken in my previous lectures that style uh, is very, very important whether it is group or any kind of context situation style matters a lot. <coughs> no two persons will be speaking in the similar fashion, similar ways. So, one has to understand other person's style and uh, it is not possible to change the style of others. So, it is better to develop multiple skills to suit the style of other person. If a person uh, is having one particular style and if I am trying to behave that way, uh, might it might be more suitable than others. So, style is very, very important and of course, nothing can replace the sincerity, the hard work and the giving the sense of belongingness. The person should be given due respect that he also matters, he also matters and they have a definite goal to achieve and these things will be possible only if a person in a group is trying to speak in a proper manner, in a proper way. It is not something like just uh, <coughs> uh, speaking in such a way that even praising as I mentioned earlier that should be in such a way that it should not embrace the person in front of others. It should be in a very normal way, it should be a spontaneous way and uh, really it means that should be the feeling given to the person concerned. So, group interacts not because of their composition like number of females or males old or young, but because of the communicative relationship developed 
and the kind of talk shared between specific people involved. So, it is not that <coughs> what kind of group is there, the basic meaning is that uh, how many old, how many young people, how many women or men are the members of that particular group, it is not like that. What matters that kind of communication and relationship. I am repeating, emphasizing again and again that as a student of communication, these two things are very, very important. From our personal experience also we can say that uh, functioning of the group or speaking in a group uh, become effective only if the member of groups are having uh, understanding, liking for each other. Uh, because of various reasons people do not want to work together and if by mistake they are put in one particular group, then group is not going to work effectively, always some sorts of problems will come. As I have mentioned that uh, it is not that differences are not in the ideas, but differences are in the people because of their personality, because of their biases, because of their uh, prejudices. Uh, people uh, are uh, in a position, people always try to uh, put down others. They will never think that what is right and what is wrong. It is very simple. If you do not like somebody, a person might be very good and he is uh, having very nice ideas and trying to uh, put forward very uh, good uh, uh, ideas to get the work done, which might be very important for the company, for the organization. But because of the very fact that a person does not like him or her, everything will be in vain. So, this is also very, very important. Uh, that we are human being and everybody has some kind of basis one can say liking, disliking. Even there are some people if suppose they do not like somebody's uniform, style, food habit, language, culture. So, everything whatever a person is speaking, behaving, doing with all utmost sincerity he or she might be doing, but uh, it is not going to be effective. So, that will always be there. So, this is very, very important that group will be effective. Of course, communication is very, very important uh, in the formation or working of the group, but most important is that when we form the group, group must have the like minded people free from ego, sharing ideas and thoughts and always having lots of enthusiasm to achieve the goal. And all these are possible. Uh, mostly possible of course, beside many other factors uh, in the center is that our speaking or communication ability. So, friends <coughs> in all these my lectures I have I have been emphasizing the importance of communication whether it is a group or whether it is a, a leadership uh, qualities the uh, besides many other things and traits in the personality traits. Uh, the important thing is that our communication skills and this will come, this can be developed through training, through practices. In fact, there are very simple and small things in our day to day interaction, which generally we try, to, we, we, we are ignoring like uh, just when we meet somebody, how much time, how much uh, sentences or words will take if you are just saying with a little bit smiling face and saying good morning, good afternoon or thanking somebody or patting our students if they have done something good. Uh, it it, it will not cost much, but generally we avoid these small things in our day to day interaction. As a result what happens that we are becoming isolated and we are becoming uh, day by day very short in our communication behavior. Sometimes jokingly I say that uh, we become very uh, what is called SMS means short in our communication. Say for example, if you say good morning to somebody from other end, now people will respond just morning. Now good has gone, disappeared because person does not want to use two words, why two words, only one word is enough. And time will come that even uh, people if you say good morning and the the person even will not speak good morning, 
sometimes people will look at face and turn the face and go away. So, these are small things, we are human beings, we like to be praised. So, if you like to be praised, we feel happy, better, comfortable. So, we should also behave similar way to others. Whenever, wherever we get chance opportunity, we must try to uh, use these small uh, words and we will find that in our day to day behavior, communication behavior, if you are using these small things, uh, we can uh, make other people uh, happy or at least they will have some sort of regard for us and in due course they will develop good relationship. So, these things are very very important that whenever we are working in a group in a team or uh, in any organization our speaking is very very important. How do we speak? We must have control over our tongue because once we have spoken it cannot be taken back. We might uh, express hundreds of excuses, but at times it becomes really very very difficult. Uh, to convince others. People will forget good things, but uh, some negative or bad words is spoken even by uh, unintentionally we have spoken, we cannot take it back and people remember and it becomes very, very difficult to forget. So, uh, we should have because there is a, it's a power of word means uh, whatever we are speaking each and every sentence and word uh, must be very much measured, uh, suitable to the occasion. Uh, we should uh, try to control our aggression, our anger and uh, we should not very easily get uh, too much emotional. So, all such things definitely required for a mature person and those who are holding the responsible position in professional life, even in family life because situation comes when we lose control over our tongue, we start speaking whatever comes to our mind and later on we just repent and repent and repent. We try to do lot many things that it should be uh, re uh, reconciled, but this is the human nature and just one or two words spoken can spoil our career, can spoil our relationship. Please remember it takes years together, months together, days together to build relationship, but it will take just uh, one minute, two minutes if you speak some bad words, negative words for somebody and then it can break the relationship, it can break the group, it can, it can uh, create lots of you know problems in our relationship, in our society. So, communication uh, I always say it is a boon of God, it is a gift of God given to us and we so always try to respect and develop and if we are <coughs> little bit aware about the communication behavior, everyday life we shall we will be in a better position than others and we will invite uh, less problems. Of course, we cannot say that problems will never come, but at least we can minimize our problems. So, this is really very, very important. So, speaking in a group is also an art and if we can develop uh, this art, we shall be in a better position to interact with our group members and to get the work done. So, with these few words, I would like to conclude my uh, lecture today is speaking in groups and related to uh, group dynamics and how the groups are formed and uh, uh, related issues I shall be talking in my next lectures. Thank you very much. Thank you.